He's one of the longest serving employees of Chef Michael Simon, and he's turning over a new leaf, or should we say turning over a new pizza. Austin Love introduces us this morning to Chatty's Pizzeria and what it took to open this spot in the middle of a pandemic. Good morning, Austin. Hey, good morning to you, Will. As we all know, it's been a tough year for restaurants throughout the pandemic, and as many were closing because of COVID-19, hey, Matthew Harlan thought it would be the perfect time to open his first restaurant. Here's how we did it. Hi, I'm Matthew Harlan, owner of Chatty's Pizzeria in Bay Village. Brand new. Pizza place, sandwiches, appetizers, a lot of meatballs, a lot of meatballs. Bay Village likes the meatballs. A brand new spot that has already become a town favorite in Bay Village. The first week alone, Chatty sold over 700 pizzas, all hand-tossed and sauced by Matthew and his team. So this is kind of where I want to be. A great start to a venture at a time when starting a restaurant has never been tougher. Scary, nervous are a couple adjectives but at the same time, um, very excited, and the adrenaline is kind of pushing through. Adrenaline and experience has helped Matthew launch his first ever restaurant. He's been in the restaurant business here in Cleveland for over 20 years, working with celebrity chef and Clevelander, Michael Simon. Most recently, Matthew was the corporate chef at B-Spot. You know, I learned from him a lot was um, patience, quality, um, doing things the right way, um, staying true to your vision. But last year when COVID hit and B-Spot permanently closed two of their locations, the vision for Matthew's career was left uncertain. You know, being out of work for three months um, was probably the m most miserable three months of my life. But what Matthew found in that time was an opportunity, an opportunity to pursue a longtime dream of opening his own restaurant, a dream that might not have come about if it wasn't for the pandemic. You know, I, th I felt that it was time. You know, when I found out that this location was available, you know, I looked at my wife and said, we got to figure it out. A blessing in disguise that Matthew hopes becomes the fabric of his hometown. And we're hoping that it is a good blessing in disguise, and it was a little oomph that we needed. I, I'm hoping this to be my last job. Um, I, I see myself being here for quite a while. Yeah, and so does the community of Bay Village here. Chatty's is located right across the street from Huntington Beach in Bay Village. And he says that with this early success, he hopes to continue to build on that success, even maybe grow Chatty's a little bit, opening a few locations all throughout Northeast Ohio. But in the meantime, really enjoying the, the ride that he's had so far and the added success. And man, Will, I got to tell you, what a, what a leap of faith. They acquired this building in September, opened just last month, and we wish him all the success in the world. And so does Bay Village because this community for lack of a better term, Will has been eating up his product. It's tough to get a, a pizza right now because uh, so it's, it's a long wait because it's in high demand, buddy. Austin, how long was that interview? Did he earn the name Chatty honestly? <laughs> yes, he says that's a name that he got when he first started. He said when he was a server starting, he wouldn't shut up. So people started calling him Chatty. So uh, that, that's kind of how it built. It wasn't that long of an interview. I had to cut him off a little bit. But no, he, he, he's uh, it's a, kind of an old nickname that he's gotten. All right, I'm going to cut you off there. Thanks, Austin.